Hello folks and welcome to day 14, episode 14 of my vlog. There's been a lot of course in the news about Brexit before Christmas and now that uh, Parliament is back in the UK and in Ireland shortly. It's back in the news again. Now for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you will have seen the post that I made way back in December about Brexit. And I, I feel that it's worthwhile repeating this on my vlog because it, it covers a very important principle of democracy. So let me read it to you. And it's an open letter to Theresa May. Dear Theresa May, you bang on about how you must fulfill the will of the people. In quotes, the people have spoken and nothing can ever change that. Let me remind you that the vote was taken over two years ago. As you will be painfully aware, the public's mind changes over time such that you lost your majority in the last election. Indeed, governments can change in general elections because the public changes its mind. Does this make general elections undemocratic? If we follow your argument, then, God forbid, you would be in government forever. I don't know if public opinion has changed since 2016, but we certainly know a lot more about the realities of leaving the EU than we ever did during the referendum campaign, where lies were told by both sides, and certainly the population was not properly informed. Given the result of your negotiations and the apparent failure of your parliament to ratify, the most democratic thing is to put the question back to the country. After all, it was considered the right thing by your predecessor to trust the general public with this extremely complicated decision, for which, by the way, no single person can possibly have enough information to make an informed decision, but nevertheless, it was done. If you trusted the public then, then why will you not trust the public now and call another referendum for the public to make up its mind, given that now we know so much more about the consequences of leaving than we ever did in 2016. And we will be leaving one of the largest e economies in the world. So, Mrs May, I am calling upon you to be democratic. Call another referendum and instead of giving us just two choices, which is, seems to be what politicians like to do, give us three choices. Either accept the present negotiated deal or leave the EU without a deal or cancel Brexit. Mrs May, the history of England is upon your shoulders. Do the right thing. Well, that's more or less what I wrote on Facebook and I stand by it. Democracy comes from the people and people change their minds. People change their minds through information. If we give people information, they can make an informed decision. And as I said, we know a heck of a sight more now about Brexit than we ever did during the referendum campaign. But at the moment, I think it's an absolute disaster what is happening in Great Britain because there is no confidence. Business doesn't know whether it's coming or going. Individuals like myself who live abroad do not know what our status is going to be when Brexit goes through. The whole thing is just an unmitigated disaster. So to cheer you up after that little bit of politics, here's something that will calm you down again.
Well, that's it for today. Give us a like and subscribe and comment and hit the notification button. And I will see you again in the next episode coming up tomorrow.